What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a review of the third book in the James Reese series, Savage Son. Savage Son is written by Jack Carr. Uh, he's a retired Navy SEAL. He did about 20 years um, as a SEAL. Uh, deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. We've, we've talked about that a lot. Um, but if this is your first time watching these videos and you haven't watched the first or second video that I did, uh, go ahead and click up on the top. I'll have a link to the uh, first and second videos. That way you guys are caught up before you watch the third one. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Hi right, guys, so as usual, let's, uh, let's get to the plot. So James Reese has gotten his surgery. He no longer has the uh, tumor uh, on his brain anymore. So that's great. And he's recovering in Montana with Katie and the entire Hastings family, except for Rafe's sister. She is in Romania, um, but everyone else is there. You know, they're spending the days with each other. They're just relaxing and he, he's recovering from the surgery. Uh, Oliver Gray, the traitorous CIA agent, has made it from Argentina to Russia. And he ends up working for a man named, a man named uh, Ivan Zharkov. And he's one of the heads of a family in the Russian mafia. So Oliver Gray is working for him, providing him intelligence. Um, that he knows from obviously being an American CIA agent. And in his, not really his off time, that's what he mainly does is try and build a package against Reese. He's trying to find out where Reese is. He's trying to kill him because he knows that he's next on Reese's list for what he did to his father and ultimately what he did to Freddie Strain in the second book, right? So he's trying to get to him before Reese can get to Gray. Probably a smart move because uh, it wouldn't look too good for Gray. Um, and while those two things are happening, there is a third character. <clears throat> His name is Alexander Zharkov. He's the son of Ivan Zharkov. And he has taken Rafe's sister. Um, and he takes these people to an island, and he hunts them, essentially. That, that's all he does. That's what he does, is he hunts uh, human beings. And so he has taken Rafe's sister, and he is on the hunt for her. Um, ultimately, all three of these characters clash by Oliver sending a hit team to try and kill Reese. Obviously, it ultimately doesn't end very well for them. Um, they go and check on all the families of the Hastings, and that's when they find out that Rafe's sister has been taken. And so Rafe, Reese, and a couple of their old buddies uh, go to try and rescue um, Rafe's sister. And then from there, Reese goes to take care of Oliver Gray. So yeah, that's the plot. And uh, we'll move on to the review. All right, guys. So before we go any further, uh, I'll just go ahead and say it. I, I prefer True Believer. True Believer out of these three that I've read so far are, is still my favorite. Um, not the Savage Sun. Was, it, it's not like it was written any worse, uh, any better. It's written the exact same short, uh, short chapters, like I always say, short chapters, uh, really good information. I mean, I burned through this book. It, it kept my attention very well, just like the other ones have, but it's purely just the story. I think I liked the story of redemption, um, and true believer a little bit better. So that's where I stand on that. No big deal. I still love the book. Um, but I don't think it's my favorite, but that's okay. Um, one thing I did want to say is that, you know, revenge, redemption, right? I think for this third book, I think this is a book of reunion, mainly because we, all the Hastings family is together. Reese is back with Katie. You know, they're, they're in Montana. They're hanging out. They're, they're becoming, everything's going back to normal. It feels like, and it's like just when things are getting back to normal, and he's trying to find peace in his life. Oliver Gray has to come and just screw everything up and, and try and get him killed. But obviously, that's what these books are, right? It's not just a book about peace. Um, I did like that part, though. I, I, I thought that the the time in Montana was was very well. Um, trying to think of trying, trying to think of the word. The pace. The pace was good. Um, give him a little bit of time off in Montana. You get to learn a little bit more about the characters. And then, you know, out of nowhere, the pieces shattered. 
um, and, and Reese is thrown back into war. Um, I think it was a great book. It was a great read. Like I said, I burned through it. Um, but ultimately, still like True Believer better. Um, and that's okay. That is okay. Um, I'm, I'm about 100 pages into uh, The Devil's Hand. You know, this isn't a Devil's Hand review, but I will say that The Devil's Hand, I finally will, won't have to say that the chapters are short. Some of these chapters are pretty long uh, in The Devil's Hand, at least the first few that I've read. So uh, that'll be interesting, but we'll do that review later. Um, but yeah, Savage Sun, check it out. It's a, it's a great read. Um, it's got a lot of good action in it. Um, for those of you that complained about the redacted stuff, or you know, if you think that the redactions are bad, they don't get any better in this book. But like I've said, try and figure out what they mean. You can get over it. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a great book, and I, and I stick by that. It's a great book of reunion because Reese is back with Katie, Rafe is with his family, and. Uh, <clears throat> Ultimately, you know, you see some old buddies that come back from Reese's past that go and try and help him uh, on his mission into Russia. And so it's really cool to see how they all come back and, uh, and help Reese with his mission. And uh, yeah, I would say that's about it. I uh, love the book. Excited to keep going in the series. Uh, remember that the show comes out in April. Uh, the Terminal List uh, comes out in April. And the In the Blood comes out in May, both of those in 2022. So keep your eye out for those. And um, yeah, I'll leave a link to get a place where you can get the books. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.